How are you? I'm Jungle Jim. Well, I'm going to forget all about the Aussie accent. When you get yourself a Jungle Jim, there's so many different types. Check the size you're going to be needing. Because you can't start building then all of a sudden realize, you know, the swing's going to go into your neighbor and the slide's going to go into the main road. Measure, 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 mm, measure. So check the size of the Jungle Jim you're going to be putting up and then mark out the area you're going to need. Obvious. Put a jungle gym up, you need somebody to help you. I am so stoked to introduce you to Zama is gonna be helping us today. Let's go, how's it bro? <laughs> right, your starter pack for the jungle gym is a platform pack, and that's got your poles, your decking, plus all these cool, it's got all the uh, coke screws and ring shanks. Everybody needs ring shanks to start uh, a platform pack. And then of course your two upright packs as well, which has got everything you need for your jungle gym. What comes first, the poles or the holes? We're gonna do the poles. Okay, so now we take the poles and place them with the exact spacing apart according to the instruction manual. the platform pole at your preferred height. Right, the holes have been dug to exactly the right depth. If they're different depths, then your jungle gym's gonna be at a slant, okay? So make sure the depth is proper. Now, we're gonna put the uprights into the holes. Just another thing, this, which is gonna support the platform, needs to be on the inside. Obvious, maybe not so obvious, but now I've told you. All right. I lean to my left from whence cometh my spirit level. So you've got to check it on every freaking level. Okay, just make sure it's straight. Especially here. Okay, so we've leveled it that way, that way, every freaking way you can think of. Uh, put a couple of bricks around the base just to make sure it's in position. Now we're going to put the uh, other upright. Up. Okay, the decking plank is what you need to uh, get the exact space where the next upright needs to go. Let me show you. Okay, so the decking plank uh, is used to work out exactly where the upright pole is going to go. One's going to go there. That's where the next one's going to go. Super important to keep checking all the levels, upside, whatever. Just keep checking before you move on to the next stage. Okay, so we got the uprights in place, but the only way to work out if it's exactly square is to measure the diagonals. I mean, that's obvious. Eh? Diagonals to make sure it's square. Watch this. It's exactly the same as that diagonal. You see, like a cross. Perfect, you got a square. Awesome! We keep talking about levels. We've got to worry about it that way, that way, that way. Everything's got to be leveled and leveled again. Now we thought we level. Now we've got to make sure the planks we're going to put down are level as well. Just look at that. Easy. Okay, so we've got everything in place. I'm here. We've got the uprights there. Everything is, the diagonals are perfect. The uprights are perfect. Check these bricks here. It's always uh, handy to have some bricks to keep everything in place before you start to put the uh, to put the decking on. You don't want to pour concrete just yet. You know, there might be a little bit of shifting around and that sort of thing. You want to make sure you don't have a permanent structure that you now need to uh, make some alterations to. I've got the plank, the decking plank, and now <laughs> the proof. Does it fit? Oh my goodness, how cool is that? You see, the simple process. They've already pre-drilled holes there. All I've got to do is make sure that fits in the hole. Like that. And then 
you basically hammer it. Next, you put the uh, planks onto the platform and make sure that they're neat and evenly spaced. The planks are in place, then we put the nails in place as well. Don't hammer them in yet, so we can make some minor adjustments so it's perfect when we uh, yeah, fix it. It's going so quickly, I think it's time to light the fire. Emil! Emil, wake up, China! Emil, light the fire! I've got no bit eye. Lekker. This isn't Barney Rubble in the Flintstones. How's it, Pooch? This is a swing, okay? It doesn't work so well at the moment because it's quite low. The swing needs to be a lot higher. But the, these are the, the bum sections. Yeah, that's, that's your swing. And these are the poles that are going up. Ah! And then we're going to have a swing. Simple. What you got to do is you got to have your trusty scissors and get your poles going. Uh, uh, uh. And then they just go up. You're going to start putting the uh, A-frame together and for that you need a cup square bolt butter cup. Oh, we flip the poles over then we put these circle things and, and hexagonal things together. There you go. Uh, 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 uh. Look how easy that is, it's freaking brilliant. And then we just like, thanks Amma. Right, we've got to work out uh, where the cross beam's gonna go. So you take the tape measure, Zama just grab that side piece back. You're gonna go on the outside of the upright pole, you're gonna go there, on the outside there. Is it? We're gonna pull out 2.4 meters, 2.4 there. And that, so I'm going to just roll this pole across there, bud. The pole has to be exactly 2.4 away from the upright. And also, if we stand up and we look along the line, it's got to be exactly straight with those poles there. Like that. Okay? Nice and a perfect line. How lack is that? I've also measured 2.4 out from the other upright, and it's exactly here. Okay? Exactly there. So now what you do, where the pole is, you take a meter to the right and a meter to the left. Nice at right angles. And a meter to the left is where we're digging a hole. And a meter to the right is where we're digging a hole. And that's where the uprights are gonna go. Right, we've marked out where the holes are. Let's go. Go, go, go. Okay, we dug the holes. Now the horizontal beam's also got a 50 mil hole in it. It needs to be this side, close to your upright. We then are gonna go to the top here, take off these split beams and place them 125 down, 125 mils down, attach them there, and that's where we are going to rest the horizontal beam. We put the split pole across, and uh, like all things we've done earlier, you've gotta make sure the level is absolutely perfect. Now we're going to put the cross beam up. The cross beam is heavy. So it's super important to have no kids running around. Listen, they see the, the jungle gym going up and they're super excited. Please just, I don't know, put them in, in the room or something like that. Because this is a heavy piece of wood, okay? So we firstly going to up, pick it, oh! Ha! <laughs> lead it up against there. Then we're going to move across. Zama, if you can come help me again, bud. This is our... Uh, other part here, and we're going to put this into the hole, okay? There's a lot of lining up to do now. Emil! Jeez, where is that oak? Yo. Emil! Pull in bro, how's it? Lekker, lekker. How's the bra going? We're getting there, we're getting lekker, there. Lekker. Won't you help us now get this cross beam, watch your head, because I said no kids, watch your head. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to try and get that up on top there. Cool, let's All right. There's it, there's it, there's it. Okay, so while you're doing that, okay, what? Yeah, let's start again. Okay, so we're gonna try and get it that way level, as well as like straight down this way as well. Okay. 
you might have to dig out a little extra sand to get the cross beam perfectly level. Everything is lacquer level. Straight, straight, straight. We've done all the bits. Remember that 50 mil hole we showed you earlier? That's it there now. Straight on through to the upright. Once that's sorted, you've got to make sure that your next coke screw goes into that hole there and it's got to go straight through into this pole. That's super important. I've got a swing attachment here and uh, it attaches to a swing, like logically, you know, you got to go through here a little bit later. It goes through these pre-drilled holes, pretty simple. Just make sure it's facing in the right direction for, you know, when you attach the swing. I've done it all the way down the line here. Right, so you're going to adjust the swing height according to the height of your kid, obviously, so it can, you know, climb into the swing. And then you're pretty much going to put it through one of these D shackles and connect it up here. Right, the swings are in. Ah, boom, let's go and do the monkey bars, eh? Okay, now we're getting ready to put up the monkey bars. You've got uprights down here. <laughs> uprights down here. We've got to get them equally spaced. That's what this is for. We're going to put the one spacer here, so they're equal. Go all the way along. Another spacer along here. We've got a bottom and a top. From the top, measuring down, we're going to go 1.2, 1.8, and we're going to take this one, once the pole is up, at 1.5 over there. Attach the temporary pole so that it's flush with the uprights. We can now start attaching the rungs of the ladder. Okay, this section is pretty much sorted. Now we've got this pole. We're going to remove the split pole, take it off, and this is going to go on top, and the monkey bars are going to be supported from here across. <laughs> I've got to ask Zama to help me out with this one. I need to take a break. Eh? Shot, Rude. Hey, that goes, Zama. Thanks so much. Won't you come help me just carry, carry this thing now? Then on that side, we're going to take it in your shot. Uh, all right, so now we got to line it, that's up there, equal sides apart, okay, equal sides pretty much in there, lined up with that, then moving along here, this edge here is where we're going to dig a hole, and we're going to dig a hole there, and that is where the uprights are going to be. Uprights are sorted over here. We're going to remove this. Then we're going to put the uprights in these two holes. The monkey bars are ready. And then we're going to raise the monkey bars up. Remember, keep the kids out of the way. The stuff is super heavy. Okay, so kids, I don't know. Go and join a meal by the bride. Where is a meal? Because we're definitely going to need him. A meal! No doubt. I need your help, bud. A meal! Right, you got to keep everything level and you got to have good buddies like Zama and Emil to help you. Okay, everything's in position, it's all got to be leveled properly, but because at the back there it's perfectly level, we can now start securing the monkey bars on that side. And then we're going to do the finer adjustments on this side. So first work from that side, secure it, and then move to this side and fine tune it. Right, so you pretty much line up the monkey bars with the uprights and then you just like... <laughs> Screw it in. Okay, Zama's so busy finishing off like the crossbar, so this section is done. Let's uh, check what's going to happen over here. The original upright pack came with these split poles. 
we're going to put one across here. And uh, when that's up, we're going to attach the ladder to it like that. Okay, so the ladder's going to go up here, split pole across there, come around this side. Over here, you're going to put the next split pole, and that's where the net is going to be hanged. And finally, the last split pole, which is over there, is going to cross here. So when Dad's sleeping on top of the platform, he doesn't roll off. The split pole will need to be attached to the ladder. So you might have to work with the legs of the ladder to make sure that uh, you can actually put a bolt through the split pole onto the ladder. Okay, so we've dug the base of the ladder into uh, a small hole there. So it's now touching the split pole exactly. Now we can secure it. Weave the cargo net along the split pole. And we're going to secure this as high as possible. Okay. Right, we're finishing off. We just want to get the net nice and neat so you keep it straight with your foot. And then uh, make sure when you put the staple in, you don't put it through the rope. It's pretty important. You, want to, you don't want to split the rope. And then you just start get it taking there. All right, and then you just hammer it home. Right, you're pretty much done for the day. We've got the swings up, nice and level, moving across here. We've got this nice little chill out deck, nice and protected through there. We've got the net, the ladders up. It's freaking amazing. Eh? Here are the monkey bars, monkey bars, and here's Zama. We've got to thank Zama. Well done, brother. Hey, we did it quickly. Eh? So tonight we're going to pour in the concrete, and tomorrow the kids are going to come play. How cool is that? Eh? What's awesome. it?